Hey guys, this is Mr. EJ's Tech here, and I'm going to show you how to install iOS 7 on any iPhone or iPod Touch that supports iOS 7. Uh, so if you want to learn more about supported device, you check that out in the description. Uh, but anyways, this is a 4S right here, and uh, you can see that by just holding the home button. So this is a 4S, and we're going to be installing iOS 7 on it. And uh, for this, you will need UDID registered. I know that there is a bypass, but it... Uh, the thing that scares me about it is what if Apple implements some further UDID verification in the future? So let's say there's an over-the-air update to iOS 7 Beta 2 and your UDID isn't registered and Apple changed something about the checking for UDID registration, then you're kind of stuck, your backup's kind of stuck on iOS 7. Uh, so I definitely suggest getting your UDID registered. If you want to learn more about UDID registration, I definitely suggest iOS UDID now. Uh, that's this website right here. It's $5.99 for registration. Basically, you send them uh, this identifier. It's called a UDID uh, that's uh, assigned to your phone specifically. So you go ahead and send that to them. They register it with their developer account. And uh, you're all set to go ahead and install iOS 7. So uh, we're at that step right now. So this one is registered. And uh, we have iTunes open. So it's the same process on Mac or Windows. Just make sure that your uh, host files are not modified. So we go over to iTunes, make sure that we download the firmware. The firmware downloads are in the description or wherever, uh, somewhere down there that you'll be able to find the downloads. You download the 7.0 firmware that is for your device for the 4S. You got the 4S firmware right here. Uh, so all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the Alt Option key on Mac and click restore. If you're on Windows, you use the shift key and click restore. Do not click the update. That's going to cause a lot of issues with your uh, software. It's going to be very unstable, so do not click the up update key. Uh, so here we have our uh, firmware. Actually, we're going to go to the desktop, and then we're going to go over to here. That's our firmware. We're going to click restore, and from here, we basically just wait. So it's going to say extracting software, and I'm going to speed up this video to, for uh, viewing purposes. So right here you can see that this is on, and we're going to go slide like that, we're going to click English, we're going to go over to United States, I'm going to click my guest network, and that gave me the check mark, we click enable location, set as new iPhone, I'm going to skip this step right there, and, and then we're going to go ahead and click use Siri. And we can just go ahead and click that. And it's going to say, Welcome to iPhone. And here we are on iOS 7. So you can see that this is the new update. Uh, so it's very cool. It's very easy to do. Uh, just register your UDID. You restore it through iTunes, Mac, or PC. And then basically, you're all set. So you can go ahead and put all your stuff back on here. You can restore from backup. I just warn you, do not click update in iTunes. Very important. But anyways, uh, just a little side note, you can put new stand in a folder now. That's pretty nice. Uh, but anyways, that was how to install iOS 7 on an iPhone 4S. This is applicable to an iPhone 5 or iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4 or 5. I hope this video helped. If you want to check out the UDID registration, that info is in the description. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I also will be making a downgrade video, uh, which is possible, and it's actually very easy. Uh, so basically just click restore. Um, but I will make a video just for anybody who's having trouble. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you love this video. I hope you like all the iOS 7 uh, coverage. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.